everyone, it's Tammy from Nutmeg Notebook. So I'm getting ready to do batch cooking this morning, but before I get started on that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make myself some vegetables in the Instapot, and I thought, hey, maybe you guys would like to see how I do that too. So I don't usually eat um, breakfast. I wait until later in the morning until I'm hungry, and it's um, 10.49, so going on 11, and I thought, well, I better eat before I start batch cooking or I'll be starved. So what I'm gonna do today, which this is one of my favorite things, is this is Cruciferous Crunch from Trader Joe's, and it's a 10 ounce bag. So I'm gonna open it. It has kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. And I know some of you live where there isn't a Trader Joe's nearby, but you know what? You can make this yourself. So, or, or check at your uh, health food store, or your grocery store, or Costco to see what kind of bagged greens they have. So I'm gonna just um, open this up, toss it in to the Instant Pot. Then I have some of these uh, fire roasted uh, peppers and onions from uh, Trader Joe's also. It's, um, oh, this one doesn't have onions. This is just red, yellow, and green um, peppers. And so I'm gonna put a little bit of this in. I usually prefer to buy organic, but Trader Joe's didn't have these in organic, so I went ahead and bought the conventionally grown ones, but um, peppers are on the dirty dozen list for pesticides, so I try not to have them too often. Um, no, it does have onions. Okay, don't listen to me, you guys. I can't read the bag today. So I'm gonna put about maybe half the bag in there. Then I have these dehydrated uh, mushrooms. We keep these on hand all the time. I actually buy these at Costco, and um, they're really nice to have when you don't have any fresh mushrooms. And I do have fresh mushrooms, but I kind of like the flavor of these in this. So I'm gonna put a couple handfuls of those in, because they add a lot of flavor and texture. They're kind of chewy, so they slow down the eating process. Then this is just two and a half cups of water that I'm going to add. Put that in there. Then we're gonna put the lid on. Now you always wanna make sure that you have the little um, venting seal pushed back for sealing because we want it to come up to pressure. And I don't like my vegetables to be too overcooked. I don't like them limpy. So I like them a little more al dente. So what I'm gonna do is push manual, and then I'm going to adjust the time using the minus. And I'm actually gonna do it for zero minutes. Did you know you could do zero minutes on the Instant Pot? And that's all I have to do. Now, it'll take it a few minutes to come up to pressure, and when it comes up to pressure, then it'll, um, that tells me that it's, it's gonna start um, heating up. So when it comes up to pressure, it'll also, it'll beep at me. And since I have zero minutes on there, at that time, I'm gonna release the pressure. And when that happens, I'll show you what I do next. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes since I set the Instant Pot with my vegetables in it, and it just beeped at me, so I know that it reached pressure. So, and the little um, button is elevated, so I know that it's at high pressure. So I'm gonna go ahead and release the pressure. And this handy little 45 degree angle is great if you have the Instant Pot sitting underneath your cabinets and you wanna redirect the way that the um, pressure release steam is going. And so you can just buy these at the hardware store, at Home Depot or Lowe's. And um, I don't know, it was probably around a dollar and um, it's plastic and it works great. And I didn't think of this. I actually, I saw it on someone else's um, Instant Pot video. And then I was at my friend Lorna's house and she was using the Instant Pot under her cupboards and she had this to redirect the steam. I thought it was awesome. So very inexpensive, but um, nice way to save your cabinetry. So we're just waiting for this to come all the way down for the pressure to release. As soon as the little silver button on top, the indicator goes down, then it will allow me to, uh, that'll unlock the lid and it'll allow me to open up the um, Instant Pot, take the lid yeah. off. 
So I have a little strainer here and I have my two cup um, Pyrex measuring cup and um, I'm going to actually save the liquid out of here. AJ said it's called pot liquor and it tastes amazing. It's like you've made your own vegetable broth and it's wonderful. So we're just going to go ahead and remove the lid. Let that excess moisture fall off of there. Now, if you want, when you're out of potluck or something, remember that you can use the little um, openings on the sides of the handles here to put the lid so that the lid has a place to go. So, okay. Now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use a slotted spoon and I'm just going to take my veggies out. Some of the juices are gonna collect in the bottom of my bowl, but that's okay. I like those, they taste delicious. Look at the color, isn't that pretty? So we've got the onions, the peppers, those um, dried mushrooms have hydrated now and they're gonna be chewy and flavorful. And I start my day in a savory way. I always start with um, some kind of savory vegetables and then if I'm still hungry, I'll move on to starch or fruit. But this helps with um, your uh, cravings because you don't start with something sweet. It, it helps you keep your blood sugar stable and you don't get a dip and you don't get cravings. So it's a really good way to get in some vegetables into your day. Okay, so there I have that. And I've just got a little bit left in here. I'm gonna go ahead. And this is actually an Instant Pot little pot holder and I love these. I'll, I'll link to them down below. So now I'm just going to pour the broth out through the strainer into my measuring cup. I don't want to lose any of that. I'm going to, this automatically, the Instant Pot automatically goes to warm when it gets done. So I need to shut that off so it doesn't keep going. I'm going to dump those little bit of veggies into my bowl because I don't want to um, waste them. And then this I will pour into a cup and I will drink it. And so I have this little insulated cup that I'm going to pour the pot liquor into. And it has a really wonderful flavor. It's got that mushrooms flavor in there. So it's a little earthy. It tastes salty, even though there's no salt in it whatsoever. Um, and Tom and I will fight over that because it's so delicious. Sometimes he makes vegetables just so he can have the pot liquor. Now this is one of my favorite vinegars. This is Napa Valley Naturals Grand Reserve and it's only 4% acidity, which regular balsamic vinegar is 6%. And so this is really mild and it's thick and syrupy and kind of sweet. And I just love it. And I've been using it a lot on my salads instead of salad dressing. So I like to just pour a little bit of this on to my greens because it gives it a really nice flavor. So there you go. Vegetables steamed perfectly in the Instant Pot and two cups of pot liquor. It's a good start to the day. Thanks you guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.